Good evening, I'm Felicia Lawrence. And I'm Scott Swan in tonight for Anne Marie. Thanks for inviting us in. We're following breaking news tonight at five. We are learning what caused Metro Police to shoot a man today. The shooting happened around 11 this morning on the northeast side of Indianapolis, and that's where we begin our 5 p.m. live team coverage tonight. John Duran's looking into the number of Metro Police shootings we've seen this year. Yeah, we'll get to John in a moment, but we want to start tonight at 5 with Rich Nye, who's been getting new details from police about this shooting today. So, Rich, what have you learned in the last hour? Well, Scott and Felicia, this situation appears to be perhaps another situation of a person with a mental health problem getting a gun. Police were called to the scene and that situation ended with police shooting that person. Police say they responded about 11 a.m. to Caroline Avenue and Millersville Road to a report of an armed man firing shots and acting erratically. This is just a few blocks east of the state fairgrounds. Police say they confronted the man here with a gun. They took cover behind their vehicles and ordered him to drop his weapon and lie on the ground, which they say he did. But then police say the situation dramatically changed. After the suspect was on the ground, officers requested the suspect to stand up and walk towards them while remaining behind their patrol cars. As officers continued to give verbal commands, the suspect stopped, turned away from the officers, and began rapidly moving in the direction where the firearm was located. Officers continued to give verbal commands by saying, don't do that. However, the suspect continued to move towards the gun on the ground. At some point, an officer fired his service weapon. In this evidence bag is a rifle that a crime scene technician took out of the trunk of a police car. We don't know if that weapon was fired in this incident. Police say the suspect was taken to the hospital and in serious but stable condition at last report. Back here live, this blue house that you're looking at now is where the crime scene investigators have spent most of their time uh, this afternoon. They have been in and out of that house, and so we believe that that may be where this person was at because police say they were first called and believed that this man was actually firing shots from a house to the outside. But when police arrived, they confronted the man outside the house, and that's when it eventually led up to the man being shot. No officers were injured. No one else was injured in this situation. We'll have an update for you coming up on 13 News at 6 o'clock. Okay, Rich and I reporting. Thank you so much.